Good morning, friends. I'm Miss Olivia. Are you ready for another story time? Okay, let's get started with our welcome song. And it's called Hello Friends. So I'm gonna teach you the ASL really quick. We're gonna sing it in English and then we're gonna sing it in Spanish. So to start, you're gonna bring your hand up to your head and out for hello. Your two fingers are gonna hug because they are friends. You're gonna tap your watch for it's time. Bring your finger up to your mouth and out to say hello. Are you ready? Here we go. Hello friends, hello friends, hello friends, it's time to say hello. Very good. So now we've done our ASL and our English. Here's our Spanish. Here are the lyrics. Hand up to your head for hola. Our fingers are gonna hug because they are amigos. Tap your watch for es tiempo. Finger up to your mouth and out. A decir hola. Here we go. Hola amigos. Hola amigos. Hola amigos. Es tiempo a decir hola. Very good. So now we immediately go to our first book, of course. What? You mean I forgot something? Oh, that's very silly. Well, okay then. Our second song today is going to be all about fall and about leaves falling on the ground because it's a beautiful, beautiful autumn. So here we go. This goes to the tune of the wheels on the bus. The leaves on the trees turn orange and red, orange and red, orange and red. The leaves on the trees turn orange and red all through the town. The leaves on the trees come twirling down, twirling down, twirling down. The leaves on the trees come twirling down all through the town. The leaves on the ground go swish, 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 swish. The leaves on the ground go swish, swish, swish all through the town. Very good, everybody. So that's our first two songs. Now it's time to read a story about leaves and all the beautiful colors of fall. Are you ready? Here we go. Our first story today is Mouse's First Fall by Lauren Thompson, illustrated by Bouquet Erdogan. One cool fall day. Mouse and Minka came out to play. Tumbling and twirling, fall leaves fell all around. Look at all the colors, said Minka. Hmm, what colors can you spot in this picture? I see pink and green and orange and red, just like in our song. Hmm, what'll happen next? Mouse saw red leaves and yellow leaves, orange leaves and brown leaves. Pretty, he said. Do you like these? I like these colors. Look at all the shapes, said Minka. They do come in different shapes. This one only has one point. This leaf has three points. Do you wanna count them with me? One, two, three. All right. Mouse saw round leaves and skinny leaves, pointy leaves and smooth leaves. Yay, he said. Let's run through the leaves, said Minka. Do you remember the noise they make when we run on them? Crunch, 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 crunch. Mouse ran and skipped, kicked and swished through all the leaves. Fun, he said. Let's pile them up, said Minka. How many are in this pile? One, two, three. Mouse piled the leaves up high. One leaf, two leaves, three leaves. 
lots of leaves. Yippee, said Mouse. What a big pile, said Minka. Let's jump in. Mouse leaped and jumped and plopped and rolled in the leaves. Whee, he said. Do you think that would be fun? I think that would be a lot of fun. I'm hiding, called Minka. Can you find me? Hmm, I don't know. Can you find Minka? Let's see, is she over here? Mm -mm. Nope, I don't see her. Is she over there? Hmm, I don't see her there either. <gasps> is that her tail? It might be, let's find out. Mouse peeked and poked and peered between the leaves. Where could Minka be? Hmm, <gasps> leaves, leaves, mm, what's that? Oh, that's a leaf too. <gasps> Is that her tail? I don't know, let's see. Then out popped Minka. Here I am, hooray, he said. Hooray for Minka, hooray for Mouse. Hip, hip, hooray for fall. The end. All right, that was super fun. I think it's time for another song. How about you? All right, so this first song is called The Acorn Song and it's very, very silly. Here's how it goes. I'm an acorn, small and round, lying on the cold, cold ground. People always step on me. That is why I'm cracked, you see. I'm a nut, I'm a nut, I'm a nut, I'm a nut, I'm a nut. Now that we've sung it once, let's sing it one more time. Sing with me. I'm an acorn, small and round, lying on the cold, cold ground. People always step on me. That is why I'm cracked, you see. I'm a nut, I'm a nut, I'm a nut, I'm a nut, I'm a nut. Now, what animal eats nuts? Hmm, I know, a squirrel. And squirrels come in different colors and there are lots of different colors in fall, so let's think. I think our squirrel should be red for the first verse. Once you pick it up, sing with me. Red squirrel, red squirrel, shake your bushy tail. Red squirrel, red squirrel, shake your bushy tail. Wrinkle up your nose, hold a nut between your toes. Red squirrel, red squirrel, shake your bushy tail. Okay, so red squirrel, I love the color red, but what other colors do we see in fall? Hmm, I know, we also see the color brown. Here we go. Brown squirrel, brown squirrel, shake your bushy tail. Brown squirrel, brown squirrel, shake your bushy tail. Wrinkle up your nose, hold a nut between your toes. Red squirrel, red squirrel, shake your bushy tail. Mm. Brown, ah, that'll work. Here we go. Brown squirrel, brown squirrel, shake your bushy tail. Brown squirrel, brown squirrel, shake your bushy tail. Wrinkle up your nose, hold a knot between your toes. Brown squirrel, brown squirrel, shake your bushy tail. That was so much fun. Ah, oh, there go all my wiggles. You ready for our next story? Our second story today is Bear Sees Colors, because we've been talking about so many colors today. Bear Sees Colors is by Karma Wilson and Jane Chapman. Mouse and Bear are walking. They are chitter chatter talking. So much for them to do. And the bear sees blue. Blue flowers by the trail, blue berries, blue pale. Blue, blue everywhere. Can you spy blue with bear? 
Mmm. There's something else they didn't call out was blue. What else is here? Blue fish? Blue dragonfly? What else does Bear see? Along the trail hops hair. Howdy ho there, mouse and bear. Hair points up ahead. And the bear sees red. Red blossoms, red cherries, red juicy raspberries. Red, red everywhere. Can you spy red with bear? Wow, I love that. What's your favorite color? Awesome. Let's see what else Bear sees. Badger's at the pond with his old galoshes on. Look there, Badger Bellows. And the bear sees yellow. Drippy, sticky, oh so yummy honeycombs with yellow honey. Uh-oh, don't forget, you know what else is yellow and in this picture, who makes the honey? The bees, exactly. Yellow, yellow everywhere. Can you find it just like bear? All right. That was a delicious snack. What else is Bear going to do next? Gophers out with mole, they are on a little stroll. Bear spots them by the stream and the bear sees green. Green mint for making tea, green and tasty sweet peas. Green, green everywhere. Can you spy green with bear? Oh, I love that. My favorite fruit is in this picture. Can you see it? Those are green apples. What's your favorite fruit? Sounds delicious. Raven, owl, and wren lay a picnic in the glen. The friends all gather round and the friends see Brown, chocolate cake, brown and sweet, brown cookies, such a treat. Brown eyes, brown hair, friendly, fluffy, brown bear. Colors, colors everywhere. Can you find colors just like bear? The end. All right, so my parents, that was a really fun book to read, and it's also a really fun game you can play around the house. Ask your little ones, what color is this, or what color is that? And that'll help them with color recognition, which is an important kindergarten skill. And speaking of skills, let's go over our five Every Child Ready to Read skills. So everyone, take out your first finger and write your name in the air, because our first skill is writing. Now take out two fingers, turn them on its side, then it makes a mouth, because our second skill is talking. Talk, 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 talk. Very good. Now take out three fingers, bring them up to your chin, la, la, la. Our third skill is singing. Then take out two fours, bring them together in front of you like a book, because our fourth skill is reading. We're gonna take out two fives, bring down the middle three. This sign is the ASL sign for playing, because our fifth skill is playing. If we sing, talk, read, write, and play, this will help our kiddos be ready to read. That was a fun finger play, but I don't know about you, I could use another song to get my wiggles out. Are you ready? This one is called, I wake up my hands with a clap, clap, clap. I wake up my hands with a clap, clap, clap. Clap, 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 clap. I wake up my hands with a clap, clap, clap and wiggle my waggles away. I wake up my feet with a stomp, 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 stomp. I wake up my feet with a stomp, 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 and wiggle my waggles away. 
I wake up my eyes with a blink, 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 blink. I wake up my eyes with a blink, 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 and wiggle my waggles away. I wake up my hips with a shake, 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 shake. I wake up my hips with a shake, 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 and wiggle my waggles away. Excellent job, everybody. That's all my wiggles for now. How about you? Fantastic. Now we're going to go on to our next book. This one is about pumpkins and the beautiful color orange. Here we go. And our third story today is called The Runaway Pumpkin by Kevin Lewis, illustrated by S.D. Schindler. Now this one's a lot of fun. It's a little bit of a tongue twister too. Are you ready? Once upon a hill when the wind blew with a chill, wandered Buck and Billy Baxter with their baby sister Lil. And there upon that hillside, growing orange, fat, and fine, the budding Baxters found a pumpkin on a twisty, twirly vine. Can you see it? All the way up there? It was big and it was round, and the boys, their eyes agleam, gave a whoop, a yell, a holler. No finer pumpkin had they seen. And today was Halloween. Yet little Lil was cautious, and of course she tried to warn them. But her bumbling big head brother snapped the pumpkin from its stem, and as she watched them roll it, at first real slow, but then much faster, little Lil looked down the hill, and she foresaw disaster. Round and round across the ground, making a bumpin' thumpin' sound came that thumpity bumpity thumpin' bumpkin round and rolly runaway pumpkin. Uh-oh. A short way down the hillside, that zooming pumpkin caught the eye of mucking Mama Baxter, who thought of Granny's pumpkin pie. Uh-oh. Till it busted through her sty. The pigs went everywhere, oh my gosh. Round and round across the ground, making a thumpin' bumpin' sound, came that thumpity bumpity thumpin' bumpkin round and rolly runaway pumpkin. A bit farther down the hillside, just beyond the chicken coop, Grandpa Baxter saw that pumpkin and thought of Granny's pumpkin soup. Mmm, sounds delicious, but uh-oh. Till it knocked him for a loop. Round and round across the ground, making a thumpin' bumpin' sound, came that thumpity bumpity thumpin' bumpin' round and rolly runaway pumpkin. Now at the bottom of that hillside, where that boundin' pumpkin sped, Papa Baxter on his tractor thought of Granny's pumpkin bread. Mmm. But Papa Baxter used his head and quickly plowed a pumpkin bed. Zip! So at the bottom of the hillside, fat and round upon the ground, that thumpin' bumpkin, bumpin' pumpkin plopped and didn't make another sound. And as pigs and hens and Baxters gathered round where Papa plowed, little Lil, she gathered Granny and pulled her through the waiting crowd. Buck and Billy looked really proud. Then the thumpity bumpity thumpin' bumpkin straight to the kitchen went that pumpkin. And soon after came the smell of dear old Granny. Cooking something. I can smell it now. Granny stirred and stewed and baked until the bright full moon rose up and all those hungry Baxters sat themselves right down to sup. And at the center of the table, among the soup and bread and pie, sat a grinning jack-o'-lantern with a twinkle in his eye. The end. Whew, that was a bit of a tongue twister, don't you think? 
What's so fun about rhyming stories is that they build phonemic awareness or the idea that words are made of smaller bits, phonemes or little bits of sound. And one of the really fun ways to encourage that sort of awareness in your child is to sing or say a silly tw tongue twister. That was a super fun book. And now I think it's time to do a little bit more singing. How about you? Here we go. This one is the pumpkin song and this one goes to the tune of I'm a little teapot. Here we go. I'm a little pumpkin, orange and round. Here is my stem and there is the ground. When I get all cut up, don't you shout. Just open me up and scoop me out. That was pretty fun. And I know one more finger play about pumpkins. If you know this one, chant along with me. This one is called Five Little Pumpkins. Five little pumpkins sitting on a gate. The first one said, oh my, it's getting late. The second one said, there are witches in the air. The third one said, but we don't care. The fourth one said, let's run and run and run. The fifth one said, let's have some fun. Woo, went the wind and out went the light and five little pumpkins rolled out of sight. Let's do that one more time. Five little pumpkins sitting on a gate. The first one said, oh my, it's getting late. The second one said, there are witches in the air. The third one said, but we don't care. The fourth one said, let's run and run and run. The fifth one said, let's have some fun. Woo, went the wind and out went the light and five little pumpkins rolled out of sight. That was super fun. And speaking of pumpkins, that's what we're gonna make for our craft today. Our craft we're gonna make today is a pumpkin. And what you'll need for this is you're going to need a sharp pencil or pen, our strip of green ribbon, our two brads, and two strips of paper. And you can get all of these in your library craft sack. Call your local branch for details. For step one, you're gonna take your two strips of paper, and you're gonna lay them one on top of the other and you make a big old X, okay? And then we're gonna put this one down and then we're gonna take our sharp pencil or pen and then right in the middle, we're gonna pick up our X and we're gonna just poke a hole right in the middle through both of them. If you need a little help from your grown-up, that's okay. So poke just a little hole through both of them in the same spot. And we're gonna put our pencil to the side because we're done with it. We're gonna line them up and we're gonna use one of our brads and we're gonna just poke it through the hole that we made just like that. And from here, we're going to open this brad up like so. And that holds our strips of paper together. Now that we've got it like this, we're gonna pick up our pen or pencil again and then we're going to poke little holes on the ends of this paper. So we're just gonna poke a hole through the paper, little bitty one, just like that. And do it gently. We're gonna pick up our pencil, poke a hole through the edge of the paper, just like that. Keep on going here and here. And don't worry if you end up tearing the paper a little bit, just scoot on down a bit more and try again. So now that we have all of these with the holes on the ends, we're gonna take our other brad and this part, you're gonna pick up a strip of paper, poke the brad through it, 
and we're gonna hold it in one hand and then we're gonna pick up the other strip of paper and we're gonna thread the brad through the hole that we made. We're gonna pick up the other strip of paper, thread that brad through the hole that we made. If you need help from your grown-up with this, that's okay. And you're gonna pick up the other strip and we're gonna poke it right over the brad. And so it makes a circle, see? And now we're gonna just open this brad up, open it up. And there's our pumpkin. The only thing missing is the stem and the vine. So we're gonna take our ribbon and we're going to tie it around our strips of paper. And there it is, our pumpkin with the vine. And for a little bit of extra, you can see if your grown up will help you curl the ribbon. What an awesome craft. And my caregivers, remember, every time you work on those fine motor skills, that's pre-writing right there. So that is almost all five of our skills today. The only thing left to do is our closing song, our goodbye song. And it goes like this. Going to wave goodbye. Our two fingers are gonna hug because they are friends. Gonna tap our watch for it's time. Bring our finger up to our mouth and out to say goodbye. Very good, here we go. Goodbye friends, goodbye friends, goodbye friends, it's time to say goodbye. Awesome, and now we've gotta add our Spanish. So we're gonna say adios. Our fingers are gonna, are gonna hug because they are amigos. We're gonna tap our watch for es tiempo. Bring our finger up to our mouth and out. A decir, adios. Here we go. Adios, amigos. Adios, amigos. Adios, amigos. Es tiempo a decir adios. Goodbye, friends. See you next time.